Hey guys, welcome back. For those of you that are new, I'm Jesse with Green Chick Gardens. Um, today we are going to do part two of our plant chores and organization. We don't have too much more to do, so hopefully we can get it done in about maybe 20 or 30 minutes, uh, but we'll see. So this area here is what we're going to still get done today. We finished all of that yesterday. And then uh, if we get that done relatively quickly, my camera setup station and all these just random plants I got over here will kind of sort back into position as well. Um, these are mainly some just uh, philodendrons and just a couple plants. I don't even know, so we'll go through them. And uh, this is also where my dry zone was closest to the heater. So we're gonna kind of figure out what we're gonna do about that. Uh, definitely gonna move them back a little further this way if we can. But uh, let's go. I've got another kombucha today, same flavor, ginger lemon. Oh, that's good. Uh, so I got one more that I'm gonna do today just so we can get done and get through with the organization, at least for now. Um, there'll, there's gotta be a better way to do this, but for now, uh, this is what we'll do. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy it. All right. So our first batch here is a ton of Pink Princess that I grew from little tissue cultures. None of these are very variegated. This is my best. And it's still not great, but I kind of got these just to get my hands dirty and figure out, you know, how tissue cultures work, experiment on them, figure out what I thought was the best process with them. Uh, and they're growing well, uh, but they're not the best, uh, they're not the best pink princess. I'll keep growing them. Okay, let's see what we got here. A lot of these are just bonus plants that came with orders uh, of other stuff that I got. And I uh, wasn't too keen on them. I'm just keeping them around because you just can't get rid of a plant, you know? Uh, so, just a small Monstera adansonii. It's very leggy. I should probably put it on a pole. This is obviously dry this is the area that uh was just starting to get too dry i got my heater blows this way and they're the closest ones uh so i'm probably gonna move all those down this way and leave a little bit of open space there i can just put you know my drink or a shirt or whatever i need to sit right there all my plants will be further down this way so we won't worry about that as much anymore because that's definitely been a concern uh and i'm just now getting around to it this is a, I want to say a philodendron gloriosum, I believe, also dry, not growing great, <laughs> super dry moss bowl, yeah, uh, so we'll water this stuff today as well. So I got my pink princess, that philodendron. Here is another philodendron gloriosum. This is called a mutated variant. Uh, it's variegated as well. Honestly, this just looks ugly to me. I bought it. I don't know why I bought it. Um, sometimes, you know, plant people do that kind of stuff. Um, and it does grow in an odd fashion. Honestly, it just looks like it's sick. It looks like it has a disease. Um, and that curliness, that's just that contorta. That's just how this one grows. Um, so I will keep growing it out just as an odd specimen. But nothing nothing too interesting about it to me. Um, and then I'll just put a lot of these little small cuttings that I have in here as well. Uh, another elbow cutting. It's yet to come out, but it's very close. Um... And Adansonii archipelago, uh, archipelago, however you want to pronounce it. This one 
is just a cutting. And then I have various ones that honestly I don't even know what they are. One of these is a Monstera Laniata variegated, a mint variegated. And I'm pretty sure it's this one. And it came in with one leaf. That leaf wilted. And ever since then, it stayed alive, but I mean barely. Uh, and it did grow a new leaf, and then that leaf just immediately wilted on me as well. That was before I'd moved it to this area, so it wasn't dryness that um, that was the, playing the role there. I don't know what why it wilted so quickly on me. Um, and then we have another cutting of, I'm going to guess, some type of philodendron. I don't even know what. Uh, it's just a stick. But it's always fun to see if it grows out, and we'll figure out what it was. Here is a variegated micans um, that I bought as a one-leaf cutting. I've had three leaves so far come up on this one. Each leaf has been completely variegated, and so it's not really growing. There's that variegated. This is the last, the newest leaf. It's been completely variegated. Um, so I think I'm just not going to have luck with that one. However, I'm pretty sure there's one more node further back. Yeah, there is. So I might cut back to that node. That's probably something to remember. Um, and I probably should do that. I'm not going to do it right now. Um, but I should probably cut back to the next node, see if I can get a little bit of green. Cause I don't think we're going to get anywhere with that. That's been a good while. And I'm still just consistently getting all variegated leaves. So we'll move this one further over. Ooh, here's a uh, Syngonium. Some type of variegated Syngonium, and it's beautiful. Uh, super variegated. Uh, I'm pretty proud of this one, honestly. The roots are already grown out of the bottom. Honestly, I used to not like Syngonium that much. I kind of thought they were just like a secondary plant, you know what I mean? Not one of your main specimens, but like something like this is beautiful. I've definitely changed my mind. Hopefully in the next year, um, I'll get some more Syngoniums. I think that's a good idea. They grow rather easily. Remind me of uh, Alocasia in the way that they grow. But um, So I am going to group that with my Alocasia. I like to keep it a little on the wetter side. So we got that, we got that. I've moved my Spirit of Sancti over to here. We looked at the Florida Beauty in an episode two, three days ago. I've got them right here as well. Here is a beautiful mint monstera that I must have missed yesterday. Need to move that back over here with my other monsteras. I actually, we're making pretty good time. I didn't think it'd go this quickly. So we've got that mostly moved over here. We got my tray of alocasias. Um, and then the last tray I'm about to get out here. It's very stuff. I don't even know what half of it is. I'll probably try to tell you what it is. And I'll probably be wrong. Um, so in the comments, definitely let me know. Uh, and then that's it as far as over here goes. So awesome. We're going to get this cleaned up a good bit today. Oh. Somebody asked yesterday about the, uh, the mites. These are the Swarski, uh, beneficial mites. These packages are long gone. I need to throw them away and probably order a new one before too long. Okay, this is a glorious philodendron. That's a cross between a gloriosum and s splendid, I think. Uh, philodendron, still a young one. This is a skindapsis of some kind. Skindapsis really aren't my thing. This was just a bonus plant. I'm on baby duty today, so I have to be ready at a moment's notice. She should be napping right now, though. Okay, so that's a Scandapsis. I believe this is a Epipremnum. Um, I want to say it's the Marble Queen. 
Is this an epipremnum? Epipremnum and uh, pothos uh, marble. They look so similar, but I'm pretty sure that's what this is. You'll only know if it really sizes up, or at least I only can figure out if it sizes up. Um, here is another philodendron white wizard. No, excuse me, white knight. This one's got pretty good variegation. We got a funky leaf over here. And it's just not gonna do anything, so I might as well just cut it off and start over. Okay, so that's that. I think that's the last of the philodendrons. Here's one more, Pestizanum silver. Uh, and these two new, these two leaves are relatively new. Boy, all this stuff is super dry. I really need to keep a better eye on these. Okay. There's a, uh, what is that? Golden something. I don't know. That's a very common one. That was a bonus plant as well. Uh, from Demaloon. D Demi Loon. That's his name. Demaloon Plants. I looked that up last night. He's an awesome guy. I talked to him for a while. He's on Etsy. Uh, give him a look if you can think about it uh, and see what he's got to offer. He doesn't always have a ton, but uh, he's got good quality. He's a super good guy. And goodness in a person is what matters to me. Next we have... Let me go check on my kid. Okay, she's okay. Just cranky. Um, the next little group here is a bunch of anthuriums. And I'm not an anthurium guy. Uh, don't know much about them. These are the first four I bought. I actually bought like a starter pack from somebody. Can't remember who. Um, and I don't even know the names of these three. Because I don't have them labeled. This is a Clarinervium. It has nothing on it. Uh, hopefully it will. It had one leaf. That leaf yellowed and fell off. So we'll see what happens. The rest of these three. Longi Longinobum. Longilobum. I believe was this one. Then the other two I definitely don't have a clue. And they're pretty young. So we'll see what sprouts out of them. Ansonii Fairchild, basically just an Ansonii. Pretty sure it's just supposed to have more, uh, more of the Swiss cheese holes in it. And the last one also looks like a terrarium plant of some kind to me. It's very uh, rubbery leaved, kind of like a peperomia leaf, but uh, I don't know what that one's called. It didn't come with a name. So that's all of kind of just my spare parts plants that I'm going to keep around. Gotta make sure and water these today before we're done. And that is gonna wrap up all the plants over here. Now we got a couple spare ones laying around over here that we're gonna need to move somewhere. We got a big elbow cutting, still hasn't popped. See if I can show you that. Uh, it's swollen, but that's as far as we've got with it so far. Put that in here. Um, what else do we have? Um, another viney something that doesn't look good. Uh, what is this? This is um, Cebu. Uh, ghost or uh, CB Blue Ghost, the variegated version of it. Never got anything good out of this. Kept it in a humidity dome for a while um, and the roots really started to grow, but I've never got a leaf off of it. I don't understand what's going on with that. We'll move that into our rando pile. And okay. Well, that was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. We got all of that stuff cleaned up and organized. This middle row is good. Uh, the last little plant that I did not show you is a, is a billy. Just came out with a new little leaf on it. 
the top of plant on my want list is the variegated billy. I want one so bad. Uh, I just love the plant shape, the leaf shape, excuse me. It is just freaking awesome. Um, but those are pretty expensive. Coming down, but they're still pretty expensive. I was nervous about buying one uh, that expensive. So I wanted to just get a regular one to begin with and kind of learn the ins and outs of growing one. Um, and I'm doing good so far. The only thing I'd say is they're a little, a little slower growing than I thought they might be. Um, but hey, I've got time. I got time, baby. Patience is a virtue. And I've done bonsai for a long time, so if you think houseplants are slow growing, you should try one of those. Okay, so I'll put him back. And that is all we've got to do over there. We got, nope, one more. This is a philodendron green Congo nuclear. And I think they're called nuclear because of this beautiful, almost like peach-like color. Look at, look at this nose leaf. Holy cow. I don't even think I've noticed this. Wow. Look at that. That is absolutely awesome. I'm at a loss for words. Seriously, I don't, that doesn't even look like any of the other leaves really to me. But wow. But on these newest leaves on the bottom, you see this peach peachy, I don't know, pink, orange, sherbet looking color almost. Um, I think that's why they call it nuclear. It's a very cool plant. Um, and I don't see a lot of these either. I don't think they're that popular. That one's sizing up pretty quickly. Um, so that's all I got here. I'm going to move my camera around. Also, I thought I'd show you, we got another desert rose bloom coming out on a different one. Different flower. It's not all the way out yet, but I will definitely show you when it is. Uh, there is one, two more that are just about to start blooming. And um, I'm sure I'll show you a video of those when they do as well. All right, since my daughter is asleep um, and I've got a little bit more time, I am going to take these pothos enjoy uh, that are looking very rough. These were actually hiding in the corner with the ficus moonshine that I showed you guys a day or two ago. Um, I'm gonna prune these up, get all the nasty, dirty leaves out of them, get the rotten roots out of it. And I've got this pot that I'm going to fill up with some soil and uh, prop them in here and hopefully start to get a nice drape going all around the edge. Uh, so we will just take these one by one. Oh man, maybe we won't. This is pretty thick in here. Let's see if we can get it out. Yeah, that's been in there for a while. I would say so those are gonna grow be grown together pretty well so I guess first thing I'll do is separate them oh brother and pothos are awesome just because they're such a basic plant uh, very hard to get rid of I guess these have been sitting back there for at least a month or two. But you can just prop them in water um, and they'll easily root. They're still a beautiful looking plant um, and there's many different varieties. Like I said, this is the Enjoy. Um, and these are growing pretty well. Actually, I'm surprised there's really not even any dead roots? These roots look fine as well. Um, and there's so there's one, two, three, four, five plants there. And I think I'll probably cut some of them up 
just so I can get about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I want eight plants. And I'm going to put um, one every so often. And probably a couple in the middle. So um, so that we get a nice full looking form once these start to grow out. I need to find soil. I already got soil. So I will fill my pot up. And this pot doesn't have a drain hole, so I use something that will retain moisture, but also will drain decently well. And you'll almost get kind of like what Lekka will do. Uh, your bot, your water will sit at the bottom of the reservoir here, somewhere about right in here. And uh, the roots will eventually go down to find that moisture. And like I said, they can grow pretty well in water anyways. So root rot's not a big, big deal. We got about enough there and all we're going to do is cut these uh, and stick them in here that's all you have to do okay i think that looks a bit better so here's our first one we've got a tangled mess here here's actually two this one looks pretty good it's got a newest leaf coming out and another one right here the roots on this one look great as well. So we'll pop that one in there. I'm actually impressed. Uh, I mean, some of them are a bit dirty. But I suppose that that's to be expected with... There is a little rot on this one actually right there. You can see that. So I'm going to trim that off. Uh, but that's to be expected with something that has been sitting in the corner for... God knows how long. Had to be this summer sometime uh, when I would have put it in there. This one we're going to save for last. This is a very long one. See how long that is? So I'll put that to the side. Here's another. These are all about the same size. Uh, and they all look good. I'm, <laughs> I'm shocked. I thought we were saving this guy, but I think he was doing well on his own. Okay, we got two more here, two smaller ones. We got this one, and we've got this little one. And we're just gonna put those around the edge as well. So I've basically got the whole edge uh, filled in. And all I want to do is use this large one which has plenty of roots growing everywhere off of it. And I'm probably going to cut it off into one, two, probably just three pieces, uh, thirds. And make sure you have a node, which obviously we do if we have leaves. We're not too worried about that. And uh, this one's going to have leaves, or excuse me, nodes as well. And then here is our bottom. Oh, it's a little gross. So I'm going to plant these just right around in the middle. And this will be what kindly fills out our pot. And makes it look nice and full. So now that I've got them kindly adjusted in there, I'll start to add some soil and make sure they i have them propped up situated you know where i'm wanting them might be easier said than done but this will actually already look pretty full right now more full than i would have thought There it goes. And these grow super easy. So I'm not really too worried about it.
But as these grow, they start to weep out of the pot a bit. Did it again. I'm not a soil saver. Okay, split them up so we got an even, rather even with not too many holes, too many gaps. Settle the soil bit, and I still got a little bit more to go. Just put it in the middle there and spread it out. Okay, and I think that's all I'm going to do with it. I'll show you what it looks like from the top. Just so you can get a sense of how spread out I made them. It's already looking pretty full. Okay, so I am done with that. I'll just give this a good watering and try not to forget about it for the next five months again. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me today. Um, i got to go take care of my kid. Um, I appreciate you guys sticking around and watching uh, as we did our plant chores and we got the rest of this organized. I'm happy we did that before the holidays, something I won't have to worry about. Tomorrow, we're going to be coming out with the new, different version of what I am trying out, uh, experimenting with. Uh, it's something completely different than what we generally do here, just talking uh, face to face. Um, it actually has no words in it at all. I hope you guys like it. I'm super excited about it and I worked very hard on it. Um, I will probably be putting it out about four o'clock. So I hope you stay tuned and watch that one. Remember to subscribe and like to Green Chick Gardens and we will see you next time.